Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Would you like to know how to impress your boss? Would you like tips that will help you be a better listener? Would you like to feel more confident when you choose the role of, say, an evaluator for a Toastmasters meeting? Well, I am here to help you learn to do all of the above. Today, we're going to talk about three things. One, we're going to talk about the benefits of the Competent Leadership Handbook. Two, we're going to talk about how to prepare for a project. And three, we're going to learn how to properly fill out the project record. When we say exchange books at the meeting, it really isn't quite that simple. So let's talk about the benefits of the Competent Leadership Handbook. And that is this book right here. We want you to bring this book to the meeting every time we have a meeting. There are ten areas that we will be able to learn more about when we use our Competent Leadership Workbook. We will be able to become better listeners, better critical thinkers, we will become better at giving feedback, we will learn time management, planning and implementation, organization and delegation, facilitation, motivation, mentoring, and team building. Can you see how these can benefit you both personally and professionally? The benefits of becoming a competent leader, one is personal growth, two is professional growth. And what are some of the other areas that you can think of where you would benefit from these? Um, did you say in our jobs? You already stated that. In my families, maybe speaking with my children or my wife. Right, in our families. In organizing your topics, for whether it's for your speaking or for schoolwork or something uh, like that. Yeah. Organizing right. your outline right. for speaking, right. that kind of thing. Right. Great. So you can come up with some ideas yourself on how this is going to benefit you personally and professionally. So now we're going to learn how to prepare to complete one of these projects. Let's open our competent leadership workbooks and we'll get started. I want you to turn to pages eight and nine in our workbook and grab one of those pencils that's on the table there. And if you'd bring one to me, no, I have one, Alan, I'm sorry. I was gonna ask you to get me one. This is project one and this is listening. The first thing you're going to do is read this, read both pages. And I'm not going to have you take the time to read it right now because then we'd have a lot of dead silence. But I would like you to take the time on the left hand side on page 8 to fill out in pencil how well do you listen. Read those questions and circle Three for always, two for sometimes, and one for never. And we are going to take time to do this. I'm going to do it myself. Have you yes. finished that and gotten a score? Yes. Mm -hmm. All right. If you scored 22 to 24 points, congratulations, you're an excellent listener. If you scored 17 to 21 points, your skills are good, but they may need some attention. If you scored 16 points or fewer, it's time to make some improvements. Now, the reason I ask you to fill this out with pencil is because I'm going to challenge you this week to read this project one and when you come to the next Toastmasters meeting volunteer to exchange books with someone let them know if you're using if you're performing a role at the meeting 
what you want to be evaluated on and find out who else is performing a role at the meeting and volunteer to evaluate someone else and get your listening, one of your listening objectives met for ne the next meeting. If I want to turn back to page six, and that's the project completion record. Now, if you look at my record, you'll see that I have, have it filled out incorrectly. And you really can't see that from back there. But on July 10th, I was evaluated on listening, critical thinking, and giving feedback because I evaluated someone's speech. What we need to remember is that for one meeting, we can only be evaluating and get our record signed for one at a time. So for the listening project, you'll see it says complete three of four. So you can be evaluated as an odd counter, a speech evaluator, and a grammarian or and or a table topic speaker. You only need to be evaluated three for three of those out of the four. And once you have three of them, all different dates, you can have the Vice President Education sign it over on the right hand side, which is who I would be the one to sign it, or if I'm not here, Mindy could sign it or one of the other officers. Do, do you have any questions about that? Does that make it a little bit clearer? It does, I believe. I think I got a little bit ahead of myself. <laughs> Once you've completed all 10 projects, thank you, and you will note that it says right in this box, complete three of four, complete two of three. Under giving feedback, you need to complete three of three. Down here at the bottom, for team building, you need to complete Toastmaster plus general evaluator or do one of the following roles. And they're a little bit outside of what we've learned about Toastmasters so far. So when you get a mentor, which is another homework assignment for us, is to sign up for a mentor this week on our box website. We'll talk more about that. And this may be something we can have our district representatives talk to us about. Now, the best part about this and I didn't know it until I started reading this book. Once this project completion record is filled out, this part is filled out and signed and sent in to Toastmasters International. You can request that Toastmasters International send your supervisor a record that you have completed this. And it can be put into our file that we have become a competent listener, competent leader in Toastmasters, and that will be on our permanent record here at Cornell. So I think that's another great thing to work for, is to have that kind of information in our yeah. file. So I'd like to challenge you each week to read and fill out one project area in the Competent Leadership Workbook. Bring your workbooks to the meeting and exchange it with someone you'll be glad you did. <laughs>